Welcome to Drinks Made Easy. Today we're taking a look at a Halloween cocktail called the Skeleton Key. <laughs> skeleton Key. That reminds me of this joke. Oh yeah, what's the joke? Yeah, a girl asks this wise man, she's like, why is it when a guy sleeps with a lot of women, he's uh -huh. a stud, but when a woman sleeps with a lot of guys, she's a slut. Okay, and what does he say? And he says, <laughs> he says, he says, a key that can open up many locks is a master or skeleton key. Uh huh. And a lock that can be opened up by many keys is a really crappy lock. <laughs> wow, that's really misogynistic. Complaints can be sent to theferalbachelor at gmail.com. That's not funny. That's my real email. What the? To build the skeleton key, you're going to start with one and a half ounces of bourbon. Next, you're going to add half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. And last but not least, three quarters of an ounce of elderflower liqueur. In this case, St. Germain. Cap it off into a shaker tin of ice. And on this, we're gonna give it a light, quick shake just to integrate the citrus and the other ingredients. Pour it into a Collins glass with fresh ice. Top it with the ginger beer of your choice. Give that a little stir with your straw spoon. And we're going to add eight dashes of Angostura bitters. And last but not least, if you have a special candy garnish, add that on in. And there you have the skeleton key. <laughs> I got another joke. I've had enough of you today. <laughs> That's what your mom said. No, my mom said you're not enough. And please remember to always drink responsibly because everybody likes to make friends, but no one likes to make them in a prison shower. We're gonna need to do another one of that. That was perfect. No, it wasn't.